This is Big Island Video News for Monday, May 22nd, 2023. Over 200 earthquakes were recorded at Kilauea Summit on Saturday. The Hawaii Island volcano is not erupting and tilt meters continue to show gradual inflation. The current USGS alert level remains at advisory. On May 20th, there was a flurry of earthquakes under the Namokani and summit regions. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says inflation at the summit of Kilauea is still higher than conditions preceding this year's summit eruption on January 5th. Hawaii Island's lava tubes are featured in a new documentary video, produced by Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Olivai is a 10-minute video that reveals how lava tubes were once conduits for torrents of molten lava. The empty cave is what was left behind once the lava stopped flowing. A lava flow will crust over and the interior keeps flowing or perhaps a lava channel or a river of lava forms and very slowly a roof grows over it. And finally, when the eruption ends up Mauka, all of the molten material inside the tube will drain out, leaving a hollow space. In the video, retired park ranger Bobby Kamara describes how Hawaiians made use of the lava tubes. Caves were really, really important water collection features. As the water percolated through the pahoehoe, it ended up dripping into spaces underground, and so lava tubes are really important for collecting water. Also, park archaeologist really Summer Roper Todd explains how lava tubes often house really irreplaceable fragile, cultural and natural resources. They contain archaeological sites many times, um, fragile paleontological resources such as fragile bird bones or sometimes extinct bird bones. Um, they also have uh, geological resources. A lot of caves have really cool geological formations that are really fragile, like stalactites and stalagmites and other really cool features. Um, and they also house fragile biological resources, and each cave is really its own living, breathing ecosystem with roots from trees, insects, moss in the cave entrances, plants, and uh, minerals on the walls. All lava tubes are protected in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Because the resources in them are so incredibly fragile, it's really, really important to, to observe them from afar. AES Hawaii joined elected officials on Thursday to celebrate the commissioning of the 42-megawatt Waikoloa Solar Plus storage facility, touted as the largest renewable energy project on the Big Island. This is a really, really big deal. This is our first Solar Plus storage utility-scale project on Hawaii Island, um, one of the first at this scale in the state. So it really means a lot for our customers, for our renewable energy goals, our decarbonization goals. So it's, it's the first step of a lot of big steps to come. When you see this kind of project go into place, you know that prices will drop for our consumers. So families can live a little easier here. Also, as governor, this is what we want to see because we want to be fully renewable. And to get to our full renewable status by 2045, we need projects just like this. We have nine renewable projects that are either in operation or under development and across all of our projects we've invested about a billion dollars in the state and created almost 1400 jobs so this industry is a real economic driver for the state and really can help with creating full-time sustainable jobs for our keiki going forward so that we can keep them on our islands in an attempt to combat the growing parking issues along the Ali'i Drive corridor in Kailua, Kona, the County of Hawaii is promoting a brand new park and ride service. This video, featuring Mayor Mitch Roth, shows the county park and ride at Loloku Street, which is situated on the south side of the Kona Target. All right, let's go catch the trolley. All aspects of the pilot program are free and is made possible through a collaboration with the Kailua Village Business Improvement District. See you guys. Go to Everybody. Here. I'm gonna sit up here. How many guys are local? The parking hours are from 7 in the morning to 6 in the evening to accommodate peak hours for businesses in the area. All right, All right. aloha.